we let's come to the second aspect of it. Um, are there some very key banking related indicators that are telling us of a recession? How did these indicators behave during previous recessions and how are they now? This will also give us a sense on uh, the narratives that you hear in the market about how the financial conditions are very tight and how banking standards probably are tight. Let's take a look at this chart here. So there are two things this chart tells us. One, uh, this chart is basically a, a pictorial depiction of a survey the Federal Reserve conducts on a regular basis. It's called the SLOOS, which is the Fed's Senior Loan Officer Opinion Survey. It's a survey of eight large US domestic banks and around 24 US uh, branches and agencies of foreign banks. Now, the last, uh, which was I think the end of uh, July, when this survey came out, an updated version of this survey came out, it was telling us that as the net percentage of US banks, of domestic banks, net percentage of US domestic banks were actually seeing tightening standards for commercial and industrial loans to large and mid market firms. So to simplify it, let's just say uh, the number of domestic banks that were seeing tightening lending standards were coming down. And the uh, demand for loans from large and middle market firms that was going up. Now, this is a classic indication of economic activity being normal. It is not an indication of a pre-recession economic activity uh, phase. So if you look at the last two crises, if you look at the crisis, the period uh, just before the 08, 09 crisis and the period uh, before the uh, early 2000 crisis, you can see that tightening standards are going up and you can see that the demand for loans are going down. Again, the same thing happens here. Tightening standards are going up and your demand for loans are coming down. Here you're seeing the exact opposite. Tightening standards are going down and demand for loans are going up. Now, when you say tightening stands are going, standards are going down, it means that the banks are not reluctant to give more and more loans to middle and uh, uh, large companies. Tightening standards going up, meaning that banks are increasingly reluctant to lend to a large and mid-market firms. So this is also telling us that we're not anywhere close to a recession. And one more thing this is telling us is that this entire market narrative that you're hearing of September rate cuts or very early rate cuts and louder noises around rate cuts that the markets are pricing in, it seems unlikely that a, sep uh, that a September um, a Federal Reserve rate cut start will happen. Now, uh, this is something that we have been uh, talking about in most of our uh, uh, views, central banks, for central banks, inflation is important, but more important is overall growth. Unless you see an appreciable drop in uh, growth, central banks will not really start cutting rates just because inflation is going down. And if you look at where in the US is now on macro parameters and growth parameters, you're seeing the US at um, are doing fairly well, a fair bit of resilience. And more importantly, if you look at the uh, June quarter GDP numbers that we saw in the US, you saw additional strength much stronger than what the markets were expecting, largely from the consumption basket. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.